it was a great feeling, but I was mad I didn't I ain't I ain't taking it in the end zone. I was upset about that, but without without my D lineman getting great pressure, I would never got it. So it's all on my D lineman. Did you think you were going to score after you played the pick? That's what I wanted to. I had my mindset on the end zone, and I messed up and didn't get there. I was disappointed about it, but it was, it was a nice catch. Did you, I guess. Did you, you almost have one after that, too. Because, uh, mm -hmm. Did you think you had that one, too? I mean, you read that one pretty well off his hand. Before, you know? Yeah, I just had to get my other hand around, and I, I, that would have been a walk-in. I was, I was saying, next time I catch it, I'm going to the end zone. I, I missed, 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 missed my other opportunity, but... It, came, it all came from film study. We know we knew what the routes they was gonna run, and the coach 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 broke broke the film down, and we, we all we already knew what was the what was the keys and stuff. So it came from film study. AJ, it looked, AJ, it looked like this really meant a lot to you winning tonight, and based on your reaction after the game and everything else. Is that is that fair? Is that accurate? Yeah, it, it felt great. First, my first my first last senior game, so it was a great feeling to get this win. We we played as one team, and it was we had great fans out there. I know I knew we was gonna have a good day. We came down the ball walk over sixty thousand people, so I knew we had to have a great day. And fans was out there supporting us, so we loved it. AJ, AJ, you're obviously one of the best tandems in the country. What areas do you think you can improve on to get to the next level? Um, <laughs> end zone celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> How much faster is this defense now that you play the game? Is that part of playing the game? How much faster? It's a lot faster. We got we got some D linemen who can move, real athletic. So when we got we got D linemen who can move and get pressure on the quarterback, it's it's gonna help the defense all. It's gonna help the linebackers, it's gonna help the DBs, and we was getting a lot of pressure and making the or making quarterbacks uncomfortable in the pocket. So it's it's just help. It's help. It start with the D lineman. How much did it help you guys tackling tonight? You think because they obviously wanted to play in space. They wanted to try to test you guys in the open field. How much did the speed help you tackling? I think it was just um just a swarming um smart swarm like like we practiced and preached all camp and all year long really. I um, mean, like you said, with the new talent that we have and the younger guys and even the older guys, we all flying to the ball. So if somebody misses a tackle, somebody else coming to clean up. Hey, what's your mindset? What was it like to uh, get on the field for the first time? I was great. Um, I've been ready for a long time. It's just it's football time in Tennessee now. So the, the opportunity that is here, um, it's, it's a great opportunity, and I'm blessed to have the opportunity to play for Tennessee and play in front of 100,000 people. But the, um, the training staff and the strength, strength and conditioning staff, they prepared me well. So I've been, I've been feeling good for a while. Were you rusty at all or just excited? Um. I think I, I did my job. I did, I did my job tonight. Um, it was a good, good communication between me, AJ, um, the D-line, and especially the coaches as well. Can you talk about keeping uh, Keaton in the pocket as well as you do? I mean, I know he, he, he leaked that a couple times, but he usually does more than that. I mean, how much work was put into you know, keeping him there? Oh, that was most important. Um, that's what, that was the first thing on our list is um, our quarterback points, keeping him in the pocket. And I think we did a good job with that. Like you said, he slipped out a couple times, but – Overall, um, the player he is, he liked to be on the run and he liked to make plays with his feet and looking downfield. So I think as a D-line, as a, as a defense, we did a good job, especially with pressures. Did you play a lot of special teams last year? Or any special teams you remember? I played a little bit at the end of the season. I, they didn't really have me on much. But have you been pushing to play special teams going into this year more? Yeah, Coach Coach told me at the, at the last season, he was gonna put me on kickoff, and I was like, "I'm ready for it, coach." As that's, that's I love kickoff. It was one of my favorite, one of my favorite special teams. You just get to run down and go go hit. So it always great to play kickoff. Hey, AJ, you guys obviously have a young defense, but how important is it that you guys like you, Kurt, Brian Randolph, kind of set the tone as older guys? Just pretty much leading leading the younger guys, and the the guys who's in pushing them, just just leading. I um, set the tone. We're we gonna come out each day playing hard, and we communicating. And the the young guys who win, they they communicating right back. And they already they they played, so they ain't freshmen no more. They got this one game under their belt, so we don't we don't see that as as young guys no more. They they Tennessee Vols. They 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 some they Vols, so they ready to play. Hey, Kurt, what did you some defense? And that one of the new things now for the fans is third down for what? <laughs> you guys are a little bit excited. What is your take on third down for what? That's that's why you play defense. Um, 
third down is the money maker. That's the play. Either you're making it or you ain't. So third down for what? We're just getting hype, and that's the opportunity to get off the field. So, and our crowd, we, the fans, they were jumping with it too. Yeah, I, I see feel like <laughs> studio section over yeah. there. Hey, <laughs> what what's their name? Hey. Rowdies, man. Top rowdies. Oh, yeah, yeah, they had it. Rowdies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this offseason make more impact plays, turnovers, punch fumbles. It looked like you succeeded in doing that tonight. How do you improve that? How do you how do you do that? Just going by how I pr my preparation practice. Um, in practice, we got we got a thing called uh, Max from one, and we every day we working on working on turnovers. So just going hard and going hard in that um in that period. And just keep on um, preparing, um, getting right, and knowing what the offense is gonna do. And like I said, it came from film study, from, from getting that, from getting that interception in my D lineman, and getting great pressure. AJ, what's it like to lead the band and ride the top? <laughs> hey, it was a great feeling. I ain't never done that before. <laughs> For a second, I was off beat, but you know I had to get on beat. So it felt good. <laughs> Coach John let me get up there. He was like, oh, like, oh, all right. <laughs> Perry, what have you seen from Chris Brother? I mean, he got here in the middle of July, and now he's, I think he was in on the second or third play of the game. So what have you seen from him? What jumps out to you about him? Um, what, what, what I see from him is a guy that's focused and um, that he, he want to get better. He want to learn. Um, anytime I tell him something or the coaches tell him something, his, his ears open and his eyes are real big. And he's gotten a lot better since he's been here in that short, short amount of time. And, he got some ability. He just got some freakish ability that's going to that's gonna help us. I can't imagine if he was here in January, but he got some great ability. Two more. The third quarter goes to the fourth, and you guys have a pretty good lead. You look down, and AJ's got his helmet off, and giving everybody high fives. He's still in the game, hyped up. How does that lead over to the, the other guys, especially the young guys? Oh, yeah, they, they're just showing that it ain't about just us or, you know what I mean, it's, it's about the team and keeping everybody else going. Focusing on what, what's going on in the game, it's a full quarter game. No matter no matter what's going on with the scoreboard, so um, like you said, start with us. You know I mean, if we sitting down, the young guys gonna think it's cool to sit down. We gotta keep everybody going. What did go so well for you guys on third down? What did go so well for you guys on third down? I think they were three for fourteen. You know, what works to matter? We the pressure when we ran our pressure, everybody got to their drop responsibility, and the pressure came, and we kept our points on the, on the quarterback. You know, he's a great quarterback, and that's one thing we was working keeping our points on the quarterback and we kept points on him and we got the pressure there when, it, when we needed to get there. And it was just a great day. We, we working in practice, so carried over to the game.